Hello, YouTube family. Tom, a.k.a. Patrick, here today with a Dollar Tree haul. It's kind of a mega haul. Not kind of. It's a mega haul. Guys, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe, like, comment, hit the bell for notification. Um, it really helps the channel, and I really, really appreciate it. If you are... An old friend, thank you so much for watching. Your loyalty is much appreciated. I love you guys so much. I love this YouTube community. I have a fabulous taste test at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. I'm very excited. I'm hungry. I cannot wait. Having said that, let's begin. Okay, this is one of the most surprising things I have ever found at the Dollar Tree. Look at the size of this. They have these in the small bags, of course. You know, for $1.25, that's about the right price that you'd find at grocery store, at, you know, PetSmart. This bag is 22.5 ounces. Like, it's, it's huge. There's probably... Five of the small bags would fit in this. And, you know, I, I took it up and bought it, and it rang up as $1.25. Everything in this haul I'm showing you today, nothing is from the plus section. Everything in the haul is $1.25. So I wanted to show this off the top. You know, our dog, uh, the Wonder Dog Bentley, will absolutely love these. But I just wanted to show that we found this for $1.25. Guys, you just never know what you will find at the Dollar Tree. What an incredible deal. 22.5 ounces canine carry out beef flavor fabulous all right wanted to show that right off the top so we found that very exciting okay now in all the years i've been going to the dollar tree i have never capital n never saw anything involving my favorite football team the minnesota vikings until now it seems as if the Dollar Trees, because I've seen that, you know, I watch other Dollar Tree channels, and wherever um, the channel creators are from, they have stuff from their favorite football team, including here in Minnesota. I found two things for my favorite team, the Minnesota Vikings. Here's a welcome sign. Kind of funny, you know, maybe not the most, you know, maybe not the most fabulous sign of all time, but, you know, just kind of cool. Kind of fun. I had to get it because it's Vikings. It's June 1st today, so three more months until NFL season. Very exciting. Uh, my team had a pretty good year last year. They went 13-4 and four, and, of course, lost in the first round of the playoffs because it's the Minnesota Vikings, and that's what they do. And I've been living that for <clears throat> amount of years, and that's okay. So I found that. Welcome sign for the Vikings. And then I thought this was kind of funny and cute. Admit one, lifetime membership, Minnesota Vikings, because that is me. I'm never going to switch to another team. People are like, why would you root for them? Why don't you pick another team to root for? Well, I'm stuck. I've lived the heartbreak my whole life. They've been to four, four Super Bowls and lost them all, just like the Buffalo Bills. But you know what? I'm sure just like Bills fans, I'm not abandoning my team ever. They have a proud, very proud history despite that. They did win the NFL championship in 1970. I'd like to point that out. When the Super Bowl was still kind of a, not an exhibition game, but the Super Bowl was, the two conferences hadn't merged yet. But anyways, found this. Thought that was funny. Admit one, lifetime membership. So I picked that up. I shouldn't say I found it funny. I found it kind of cute and ironic. And you know what? I love the Vikings, no matter what. Say what you will. Okay. Um, I love bees. I don't love being stung by bees, of course, but bees are fabulous. They really help everything with the ecology. It's the time of year bees are out. And we found some fabulous, fabulous stuff with bees in it. I'm going to show you everything now that we found with bees. And the first two things I want to show you are two of these little table decor pieces. This one obviously says be happy. Love that with the cute hive and this guy. And up here, 
found that. Table decor. And then this, and this, as a Beatles fan, the, um, I mean, I love the bug of the Beatles, and I also love the rock group, the Beatles. Let it be. Which is very, very cool sentiment. And of course, instead of let it be, B-E, B-E-E, -E, love it. Found those two pieces of table decor. And then, this is really something. I couldn't believe this. So, look at this plate. Look at this plate, seriously. Now, there's probably a little glare on here, almost, you know, almost like a, probably almost has a mirror-like effect. So I'll kind of show it from a distance, but I'll show you close enough where you can see it. But look at this really cool design. And this is such a sturdy plate. Um, it's, you know, just the regular Dollar Tree brand, a green briar, but really, really steady plate. Porcelain, ceramic, not quite sure. I think ceramic, but just, very, very high quality for a dollar twenty-five. Couldn't believe it. Nice and sturdy. So we found that. And then similarly, this B bowl. Buck twenty-five. Look at that. Same material, very, very sturdy. So very exciting find there. And then two glasses. Two B glasses. I like this one quite a bit. Um, a little bit glary there too. Sorry about that, but we found that with that design. And then I actually like this one even better. I really like this one. It just says be happy. Oh, sorry for the glare. It's hard to see. It's hard to see on camera there, but it does say be, be happy. Um, let me put my hand behind it. If I put my hand there, I think you can see it a little better. Be happy. So yeah, just those two bee glasses and a plate and a bowl from our local Dollar Tree. I should say trees. I go to quite a few of them, but. Um, now we found some things from Jot. That is all I had from bees, from for bee stuff, by the way. So we found some stuff from Jot and this was so cool because they matched up. So we found, three different six piece magnets. So these packages are also a little glary today, but yeah, we found this really fun blue color. You know, these are obviously, you know, most people probably put this on the refrigerator, but you know, you can put it just wherever magnets, um, wherever they fit, but we, but what was really fun is we found these three different colors of magnets. And then we found the corresponding I'll show you in a brief moment, the corresponding colors for scissors, also from Jot. So they kind of color coordinated the scissors with the magnets. So we picked up these three really cool Jot scissors and the exact same three colors of the magnets. So we just thought that was really cool. So we got all those from Jot. Love it, love it. Okay. And then I had showed in a previous haul some emergency gummies, but I had not seen these raspberry. So picked up the raspberry ones. You know, these are just good for your overall general health, high potency vitamin C. You get 45 of them, you know, good name, good solid name brand from Carlisle, Pennsylvania, Emergency Gummies, Raspberry. Of course, as a fan of the musical artist Prince, when I hear Raspberry, I think of Raspberry Beret, one of the most brilliant songs of all time, in my personal opinion. Love Prince, love Raspberry Beret, and I love raspberries in general. Something you may or may not have known about me. Okay, so, our daughter Mercy, and our son, actually, will, both of them will love this. We found some color, your own decors. And um, this one says, hello, summer. Hello, summer. Obviously, you get the four little, the four little markers here. So that'll be fun for Mercy or her brother to color in. It'll probably be Mercy doing that. And this one says, summer vibes. 
pretty cool with the watermelon. You know, they're really cool. I like the colors there for the markers. All three of these have the same, I noticed, uh, color of markers. And then this one is just a fishbowl. Very cool. So we found those. Just kind of uh, color your own decors. Found those three. We picked those up. And then, so my son, who I've talked about a little bit on this channel, you know, he has special needs. He, um, he's gonna love this. We found this Sticker Puzzles Space Bots. And what it is, it's really cool. So like, there's all these stickers with, it's kind of hard to see with a number on it. For example, here's number 14. And what you do is, you know, numbers one through 35, you'll then go back and put the sticker on one through, well, they have 48 listed, 48. Um, but I think, oh no, it does go through 48. Yes, one through four, there's 48 stickers here. And then you go through um, and put it on the previous page. So how fun is that? So our son will love doing that. That'll be a nice summer activity for him. He's almost out of school, so very, very exciting. Our daughter recently finished her school year. Very, we're just so proud of both of them. Oh my goodness. So we found that for our son. And then I just thought this was so cute, this book. I love us. Isn't that the cutest thing you've literally ever seen in your life? Look at the two owls, like the mother, the mother owl and her baby. Oh my goodness sakes. Look at this. If that doesn't melt your heart, then I'm not sure what you're doing because this honestly is so adorable and so touching. I love us. I almost get teared up thinking about it. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. Look at this. I love when we play and make each other laugh. Oh, I love when we sing and dance. Acting silly together always feels right. What an absolutely adorable book. So we picked that up and it's kind of in a, a set of five, it looks like. Daddy loves you, I love us, Mama, Mama loves you, and Nana loves you. How cute is that? The cutest. So we found that. And then Mercy was so excited when she saw this because she really likes the texture and kind of the font. It's kind of like the, I'm almost like a 1970s font, like, you know, like peace and love and that kind of stuff. Like, you know, kind of like the font back then. And just, it's a really cool uh, texture here, kind of a velvety thing. But yeah, I mean, how cool is that? I mean, for a dollar twenty-five, you know, a sixty-sheet notebook, five by seven, you know, and just simple, simple-lined notebook paper in there, just you know, make notes for the summer and not just the summer, but the whole school year. And just uh, Mercy loves that kind of stuff, so she picked that up. Very fun. And then our son will love this. He will love this one hundred piece. Disney Junior Mickey puzzle. 100 puzzle pieces. Fun stuff. So we got that. And then we have some bags, some really fun bags. Oh my gosh. So I love hummingbirds. I don't know about y'all, but I love hummingbirds. So look at this, guys. I mean, have you seen this in your Dollar Tree? This one, or this dragonfly one. So the dragonflies, I just learned recently, eat wood ticks, which is huge for us because we have a dog and I guess wood ticks are really thick this year in Minnesota, in the area where we live. So go dragonflies, let's go. Eat those ticks. So yeah, these bags are, these bags are just, they're so pretty. I mean, you could almost like, you could almost like, frame this. I mean, that's how pretty that design is. Seriously. Um, you know, just a very nice, you know, very nice size bag. You know, just the regular Greenbrier brand. We love, we love the Dollar Tree bags. But yeah, look at that cool design. The hummingbird. And then I just love this dragonfly one. Just love it. I really enjoy watching dragonflies. They're really fun. 
Some people might think, oh, they're nuisance. I just love them. So we found that. Those cool bags. And then we found this one. It's kind of a 4th of July, you know, Memorial Day, 4th of July, patriotic, red, white, and blue gnomes. Love it. Such a fun design there. This one's really big. Um, this one is, let me see if it says the dimensions here. It actually doesn't lift, it does not list the dimensions. But as you can see, you can kind of see the size of it there. Interestingly enough, this is the, you know, it's the Greenbrier, you know, Dollar Tree brand, but it, it does say, just fascinatingly enough, made in Vietnam. That's interesting. For, you know, kind of a, you know, patriotic bag and then to be made in a different country is kind of uh, interesting, but you know, it is what it is. It even says Americana tote extra large and then, you know, made somewhere else, but you know, that's where the world is at. But there we go, just a really lovely bag there. Very patriotic. Can't wait for the 4th of July, but I don't wanna rush summer, so. I am ready to just enjoy June. I cannot believe, guys, that it's June already. My goodness. So speaking of summery vibe, look at this. Drink markers. So, you know, everyone has the same cup, maybe. Like, you got a, a, a set of six glasses in your family or friends are over and you're drinking from the same cups. You could say, hey, I'm the pineapple, I'm the strawberry, and you mark your drink so no one knows to take a, um, a drink out of your drink. I thought that was kind of cool. So yeah, six different pieces of fruit. You got a lime in there. You got the watermelon wedge and the orange. And then you have what looks like pineapple, star fruit, and strawberry. Pretty cool. So six drink markers to celebrate the oncoming summertime. So excited, my goodness. Um, Mercy's gonna love these, these Crafter Square stamps. Clear stamps. Um, yeah, you get 13 of them. Mercy will love crafting with those. Really, really enjoys doing that in her spare time. So we found those. And then this, guys, I'm going to open this up because the plastic is so glary. But this is so cool. Sunflower market since 1910. Locally grown farm produce, seeds, stems, and blooms. But let me open this up super quick. Got the scissors here and I'll show you out of the plastic what this looks like. But you know, this kind of just reminds me of something you'd have in like a country home, you know, a countryside home. Yeah, look at that. Really cool. Really love this piece. So that's very summery, spring summery, found that. And then, you know, we found two of these kitchen towels. And again, I've, I've said this before in the channel. I, you know, we don't love the texture of this fabric. I wish they would just make it, you know, cotton. You know, this is 100%, as you see here, 100% polyester. I don't know. I just, I just don't love the way this feels. But I love this design so much. I'm a big fan of turtles. Love turtles. Turtles have been really thick around here. I actually saw two different turtles um, kind of on the, not the road, like the highway, but kind of a, a little road locally here. And I actually, I picked one of them up and moved it because, you know, I don't want him to get him or her to get hit. But their turtles seem to be really thick this year. But look at this cool, just this really cool design. Absolutely love the turtles there. Isn't that fun? So we picked that up. Just for the design, even though we don't love the texture, but you know, for a dollar twenty-five, it's worth picking it up. Uh, so that was kitchen towel, and then this is a dish drying mat. But we love this design; we just absolutely love it. This is also hundred percent polyester, but just want to show you the design super quick. Look at this. Absolutely love those butterflies. So cool. So we picked that up. Dollar Tree, you should make these a different texture. Sorry, I think I bumped the table there and the table kind of slid in. 
Bentley the Wonder Dog just woke up. So he kind of bumped the table a little bit so you might see a little bit of wobbliness there. Sorry about that. Uh, okay, so then um, we found this really fun. Oh, actually, so I just showed you this. And look what else we found in that same exact design. We found this plate, you know, just regular Dollar Tree Green Bay, uh, Green Bay, sorry. That might've been a subconscious slip as a Vikings fan. I said Green Bay, Green Briar plate. So really fun just for the summer, buck 25. Can't have too many plates, really enjoy that design. So we found that. Look at that, same design, very cool. So we found that. Um, and then this is fun, very functional. So this is a four piece, it is a paper plate holder. You know, you put your paper plate in here. Um, these four are connected together, so I'm not gonna open this up, but you know, sometimes you get kind of a flimsy paper plate, you're, you're outside at a picnic, or even you're having a paper plate, you know, watching TV, maybe eating, eating a meal in front of your television and the plate's kind of wobbly, you just put it inside this guy. So yeah, we got a four pack of uh, this really fun paper plate holder. Like the color too, I like the color quite a bit. So we found that, kind of a unique find I thought. I think that's the first time I've ever bought anything like that at our Dollar Tree, to be honest. And then, and guys, I have a lot of food items at the end, but I'm going to taste test four of them. So I'm gonna show you quite a few four items. Quite a few food items, excuse me, but I will taste test four of them. A really fun taste test today, oh my goodness. Okay, uh, let me see. I have a couple of kind of everyday items here. You know, just uh, we found these Scrub Buddies, name brand Scrub Buddies, sorry for the glare. You know, just regular good old fashioned sponges. That's a two pack, four inches by four inches, flower sponge. Pretty self-explanatory, not much else to say there, but we found that. And then uh, this was interesting. This is kind of a, you know, kind of um, environmental friendly paper plates made from 100% paper, a, renewal, a renewable natural resource, microwave safe, economical and convenient. So we got that. Obviously they're very small. You know, these guys are, um, you know, sort of like six inches all the way around looks like, or four inches. It does, actually doesn't say, I was surprised. Doesn't say, but it's either four or six. This is from Bloomfield Hills, Michigan. But yeah, you know, just thought that was kind of cute. Little small paper plates like that. Good for the environment, it says. We found those. And then similarly, we thought this was kind of interesting. Nature's Way Bamboo and Sugar Cane. Um, six inches, 11 ounce bowls compostable heavy duty earth friendly so yeah 20 of those so there um just kind of found we just thought that was kind of interesting so we'll give those a try good for the environment it says so we picked those up from our local dt and then i have a couple things here that i wanted to actually open up but, but before that then i have two more items and then two more items to open up, and then the rest is all food with a very exciting taste test. I'm so excited. So we found this chap ice, you know, similar to chapstick. Um, this one actually, instead of how a chapstick kind of opens just sort of at the very top, you know, this one opens kind of down in there. So we found that, you know, just the regular um, vitamin E shea butter, 0 0.11 ounces. And as you can see by the flag there, made in the USA. So we found that. And then guys, this was interesting. So these here, now, I don't know anything about this product, so I'm not even gonna speak to it, but Mercy and her mom will be excited about this, or they are excited about this, they know about this. Um, two different masks. So fresh eucalyptus face mask. Now guys, look at how big this is, $1.25. I'm thinking maybe like something was wrong with the label or the packaging for this to end up at the Dollar Tree, but yeah, a dollar twenty-five uh, Vivo. You know, I don't know if that's a brand name that people are aware with. 
aware um, of or not. These are made in China. I want to point that out. But we found this one and then the green tea mud mask. So Mercy, her mom, um, will give those a try. But we found these two things. Like I said, I know nothing about this, so I don't want to speak too much to it. But, you know, give those a try for about 25 So we found those. And then I have two items to open here, and then the rest is all food. The rest is all food. Okay, so this is a very interesting piece here. This is a foregrip rotating hook. I'm going to take it out of the package because the, the plastic is very glary. But this is something like you hang in your closet and then, you know, you can put like ties or, you know, hat. You know, you hang it in your closet. And it is, like it says on the label, a four grip rotating hook. And it kind of shows you like the closet rod. And you put those up there like that. Then, yeah, like you can hang a hat or just, you know, whatever. Wintertime, you know, your stocking hat or gloves, I guess, if it has one of those little clips on it, you know. But, yeah, so I picked up, you get two of those in the package. I thought that was kind of a cool little find. So we picked that up. Or picked those up, I should say. And then Mercy was really excited about this. Oh, my gosh. So... She loves like any kind of blind bag stuff, like blind bag toys, and you know you, you don't know what you're getting. So we picked up five of these Disney Dorables, and obviously it's Disney characters. And you know you get two, you know characters per bag, and of course you don't know what you're gonna get. So we picked up five of these, and she said I could go ahead and open two on the air on the air, like I'm on network TV. I mean, you know, two of these on the video. So here we go, this will be fun. Open this bad boy up and see what we can find in here. So we found, let's see if I even know. Um, oh, you know what? It's only one figure per package. I thought it was two. Well, I believe we found Pluto here. How cute. So we got Pluto in the first bag. That's definitely Pluto. So we found him. And it comes with this little, um, it comes here. It just kind of tells you all the characters, which is really fun. Oh, cool. Yep, Pluto. There's Pluto there. So we just got that one. So it kind of shows you the different characters. Yeah, so one per bag. Sorry about that. I said two mistakenly one per bag so we found pluto in the first one mercy will be pleased by that and i'm sure she's excited to open the other three herself so let's open the second one i like the sound of the crinkly plastic too i love that so you get the little thing in there and then well, who do we have here this one, I don't know. This one, I'm going to I'm gonna have to look at the guide to see who this little creature is. He or she is... Oh, it's kind of fun that you have the thing. Oh, interesting. This is from Lilo and Stitch. And this character is called Scrump. I am not really overly familiar with Lilo. I mean, Lilo and Stitch. So we got Scrump, so how fun. So, so far we've got Scrump and Pluto in our little blind bag opening. And then Mercy has three more bags to open. Very exciting. Oh my gosh, that's exciting. She'll be, exciting to, she'll be excited to see that we got Scrump from Lilo and Stitch and Pluto. And then we'll see what other three that she gets when she opens them. That was fun. I like blind bags too. It's kind of, it's kind of a fun mystery. You don't know what you're gonna get, you know. Okay, so. Guys, that's it for the haul as far as the regular items. Now, I just have a few food things and four foods at the end to taste test. Uh, but before I show human food, I will, I'm going to show you another very large um, dog food that we found. I mean, I could not believe this, the size of this bag for $1.25. This is just, you know, name brand gravy train. 
just a beefy classic makes, you know, it says makes rich gravy, just add warm water. Produced in USA, it says from globally sourced ingredients. So at least that's produced in the USA, that's good. So yeah, we found that for our dog Bentley, who is one of our very loyal um, viewers and person who comments a lot says that he is Bentley the Wonder Dog and I just absolutely love that. Um, so there you have it. A gravy train for a buck twenty-five. We could not believe it, the size of that for a dollar twenty-five. Okay, so I have let's see one, two, three, four, five, six, six foods that I'm not going to taste test. That I'm going to show you super quick, and then the taste test. I'm so excited! Oh my gosh. Okay, so we found this. Uh, this is Premier Pantry, family size mac and cheese. Have not tried this. Um, I wanted to point out that this is. It's distributed by Premier Pantry in Long Prairie, Minnesota. So after my heart a little bit as a Minnesotan, so give this a try. Get 14 and a half ounces of mac and cheese. The calorie info is here, 240 per package. The serving size is half a cup. Um, it says package 240, prepared 380. Carbs, 49 grams per serving. So there is kind of the info there. It's kind of small writing, I apologize. And yeah, we're gonna give this a try. Premier Pantry, mac and cheese, locally made here in Long Prairie, Minnesota. Minnesota, that's how a lot of people think we talk and they probably do a little bit. I just, I just said it and I sound like that, don't I? Minnesota. Um, now this is interesting. So this is, you know, stuffing mix for turkey. And Chef Carlin, we have not tried this. This is made in the USA in Northfield, Illinois. And there's your calorie info, 110 calories as packaged. And then it says as prepared, 180. The carbs are 21 grams. Six servings per container. Serving size is half a cup of stuffing mix. So we found that, you know, not exactly the biggest summertime meal, but we'll eat it. We'll eat it. We'll give that a try. And like I said, this is from uh, Northfield, Illinois. So be fun to give that a try. From Chef Carlin. I, for one, am a huge fan of stuffing. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. So um, we've tried Lance before, but I don't know that I've tried these exact sandwich crackers. Um, but we're gonna give those a try here. And these, interestingly enough, are, it's distributed, distributed in Charlotte, North Carolina, but I think I wanna say, is this a different country that they're actually, it says distributed by Snyder's Lance. You know what, I think these are actually made in the USA. I don't see anything different, so I'm going to go with it. It doesn't say any other country here. Anyways, 110 calories per serving. A serving size is one pack. So I'm not taste testing these today, but they look good. Lance toasty sandwich crackers. Yum, yum, yum. Cheddar cheese. So give those a try. And then this is interesting. This is um, Deluxe Shells and Cheese Dinner. The brand name is Columbia. And when I looked at this, I thought it was very interesting that these are, now it does say these are Philadelphia, it says Philadelphia Macaroni Company, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. So actually these are made in the USA. I think it was actually another one of these foods that was from an interesting, uh, an interesting place I would not have imagined them being from. But these are from good old Philly. So we'll give this a try. Columbia Deluxe Shells and Cheese. Making me hungry, just think about it actually. Um, this was kind of funny because, maybe funny just to me because my name is Tom, but you know, 
George and Tom's. And of course, when I hear George, I always think of George from Seinfeld, one of the greatest television shows of all time, in my humble opinion. Um, so you get 12 sugar cones. They actually had kind of the quote regular cones, but honestly, they looked a little rough. So we just picked up the sugar cones. Um, you get five ounces. Oh, these, so Safety Pacific Cone Company, Flagstaff, Arizona. Yes, these are from the USA Flagstaff, Arizona, right here, product of USA. And 60 calories per cone. Serving size, one cone. And you get 12 of them. So yeah, George and Tom's. Just thought that was kind of, you know, probably like most people, I see my name and like, oh, my name, you know, but yeah. So anyways, George and Tom's from Flagstaff, Arizona, found those. Sugar cones. What's more summery than a big scoop of ice cream and a sugar cone? Yum, yum, yum. Uh, Mercy loves Angie's Boom Chicka Pop. So we picked this up for her. I like it. I don't love it, love it. Um, but yeah, it's good. And actually, this is from, believe it or not, Osseo, Minnesota. So another Minnesota product. Sweet and salty kettle corn for Mercy and 140 calories per serving. And it's two servings per container. So Mercy will love diving into that. Woo! Time for the taste test, everybody. I got my trusty uh, Polar Pop from Circle K slash Holiday Brands here in Minnesota. And I'm very excited for this taste test. We have four items today to taste test. So let's begin. The first one is Cheese Doodles Baked Puffs Cheddar Flavor. And Wise Brands with the, kind of the owl's face there. Kind of cute. So yeah, now these here, this was an interesting one. I want to say that this was from a place I didn't expect, or was that another one? Oh, actually, this one distributed by Wise Foods, by Wise Foods Berwick, Pennsylvania. Distributed by, but it might have been another country that produced them, but I can't see it on the label. So, let me see. Yeah, I don't see any other country listed, so we'll just go with Berwick, Pennsylvania. So, anyways, the calories per serving, there's six servings per container. Calories per serving, 150. The label's a little glary. The carbs are 17 grams per serving. But I can't wait to try this. Let's go. All right, so I, I grade every every food. If you're new to the channel, I grade everything on kind of a 0.5, you know, zero through 10, and I just round up to 0.5. So these are cheddar cheese doodles. And they look like this. Bon Appetit. Good. Um. It's good. It doesn't, you know, it's not overwhelmingly cheesy. Like maybe the big name brand of this is, you know, like the old Dutch ones. Um, but it's good. I'm going to give these an 8.0. So B minus. I would have them again. Try one more. Oh. 8.0. Like, I mean, I'll definitely finish the bag. But I would say, for my liking, it's not, you know, it's not cheesy enough, perhaps, on each one. But I like it. An 8.0. That's kind of my cutoff. I would say B minus. I would eat it again. So, yeah, not bad. So there you have it. Our first taste test of the day. Wise products. Owl Wise Wise. Cheese doodles. Not too shabby. So now, this one is interesting. This is seven days... And it says enjoy seven days a week. So I don't know if the brand name is seven days. I think it is. I think it is. 
Um, but these are a product of Bulgaria. Or Bul Bulgaria. Bulgaria. Let me tell you. You do not see that every day. <laughs> product of Bulgaria. So, yeah. It's distributed here in New Jersey. East Rutherford, New Jersey. Shout out to our... We have some lovely friends who leave comments who are from New Jersey. Um, um, but yes, this is a product of Bulgaria. So here we go. Bagel chips, sea salt. Give these a try. And the calorie info is such. 130 calories per serving. You get three servings per container. And a serving size is six pieces. So let's give these a try. The carbs is our 18 grams per serving. These will be interesting. You know, sea salt bagel chips. Let's give these a try. Keep an open mind here. I've never, I've never tried this before in my life. Let's see what these taste like. And it looks like they have, before I open this, I want to show you super quick. Um, they also have cinnamon and raisin. Another one called everything and another one called, oh my gosh, it's such small letters I can't even see. Breaded. Here, I'll just show you really quick close up. Here's like the other three that they sell from this and the writing is so small you can barely see it. But one of them is cinnamon raisin. One of them says bagel chips everything and one of them says breaded bark. How interesting. Okay, so let's try this for these. Here's what they look like, just like a little you know, piece of bread. All right, so let's try this. Down the hatch. Oh. Oh, interesting. I like that. Um. It's almost like a really tasty crouton, to be honest. Like, this would be actually rather good on a salad, to be honest with you. Wow. Not bad. I'll eat another one. Mmm. Wow. Oh. Wow. Oh. Wow. 8.5. 8.5. Not bad. Not, like... Oh my gosh, most delicious thing I ever had, but not bad, not bad. 8.5, bagel chip sea salt from seven days. All right, yeah, not bad. So with first our first uh, item, the cheese doodles from Wise were an 8.0, and these seven days bagel chips, sea salt, 8.5. Two items left, I'm very excited about both. Oh my goodness. Now, this is interesting. This is Tillamook Country Smoker Chop House Bites Jalapeno Cheddar. Now, I am a huge jalapeno fan. I'm jalapeno everything. I love jalapeno peppers. I love jalapeno flavored potato chips. I love jalapeno peppers. I love everything. So I'm looking forward to this quite a bit. So this is a pretty small package. It's only 0 0.7 ounces, you know, so you don't get a lot in here, but, um, First of all, these are made in Tillamook County, Oregon. Fascinating. Bay City, Tillamook County, Oregon. And right here, it's got the U.S. flag. So these are made, as you would guess there, obviously being in uh, Oregon, made in the United States of America. So that is so cool. It says 100% natural USA pork. So, you know, let's give these a whirl. Um, these have 70 calories per serving and the serving serving size is the entire package so you eat this entire bag and it's only 70 calories so let's give these a try i wonder how hot these will be if at all oh i don't need the scissors it has its own uh tear strip here if you end up getting these and it does say up here hard to see but it says made with real cheese oh i was gonna say tillamook makes really excellent cheese um, we have that brand in our local grocery stores here. So, yeah, of course, Tillamook. Really good cheese, and there there you go, made with real cheese. All right, so let's go. I'm excited about this one. This one I have kind of high hopes for, to be honest. 
So they come out and they look like this. Chop house bite, Hollow, you know, almost like a, like a beef jerky type of thing. Um, jalapeno cheddar, chopped and formed tender cuts of pork. Very interesting. This will be very interesting for me. I have high hopes. Let's go. I'm waiting for the kick. No kick. Not yet. Interesting. Okay, at the very end, you get a slight kick. Um, but these are not very hot. Well, at least for me. These are not very hot. I would have maybe liked these a bit hotter, but I do like the taste. I'm going to go a surprisingly low 8.5. And I say that, that's still a B. The reason I say surprising is usually everything jalapeno with me is 9.0 and above. But I am gonna go, I actually am gonna go a little lower and go 8.5 because these just don't, they're not, they're not exploding with jalapeno taste like I thought maybe. Um, but you know, it's actually a substantial little piece of food. I'm just gonna try one more super quick. Um, yeah, I mean, they're not bad, certainly. You know, 8.5, B minus. Actually, there's only five in the package, interestingly enough, so five of these guys, but you know, they're pretty. Each one's a nice, you know, little chunk of uh, of pork there, tender cuts of pork, but I like them, but I would have wanted just a little bit more jalapeno, to be perfectly honest, but not bad. So 8.5 for Tillamook Country Smoker Chop House Bites. Jalapeno and cheddar. Not bad. Okay. One item left. Okay, I'm excited about this one. This one's the exact opposite of the last one. This is Mrs. Freshly's Deluxe Reese's Peanut Butter Flavored Cupcakes. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Mrs. Freshly's and Reese's. Just yum. I anticipate this will be yum. I, I like almost everything Mrs. Freshly's. I like almost everything Reese's. I'll be stunned if I don't like this, but I've never tried this before. So this will be interesting. Obviously, as you can see, you get two full size cupcakes here. Great deal for buck 25. Um, 4.5 ounces. The calorie info is as such, pretty high calories. 480 um, calories. Just, you know, Reese's you would kind of expect a little bit higher calorie count. So 480. The carbs is 74 grams. Yeah, this is kind of high for carbs. One serving per container. So the serving size is one package. So, you actually have to eat both of these cupcakes to get 480. So each each individual cupcake is 240 calories. All right, let's go. I'm excited about this. Oh my gosh. After eating the jalapeno um, chop house bites, this is going to taste good. I would anticipate anyhow. I've never tried this before in my life. Um, so the packaging is kind of cool. Just kind of comes like that. Piece of plastic, two of them. Let's take a big bite out of one. Oh my gosh, everybody. Woo, here we go. Mrs. Freshly's Deluxe Reese's Peanut Butter Flavored Cupcakes. Bon Appetit, everyone. Oh yeah. Mmm. Brilliant. Yes. Oh my gosh, 9.5. 9. .5. 9. Point five. I don't go 10 for many foods. I don't know if I've gone 10 yet on the channel. This is about as good as a food can taste. So yummy. Brilliant. Wow. So good. 9.5. Oh my gosh, everyone. Thank you for watching. Guys, that's it.
that is it for today's haul and taste test. Thank you so much. I know it was a little bit longer video. A lot of you have said you kind of like the longer videos, but thank you so much for anyone who watched even one minute of this. Thank you so, so much for people who've watched this front to back. We appreciate you all so much. And guys, thank you so much. Subscribe, like, comment, hit the bell for notification. Um, I answer every comment. I love comments. Guys, until next time, keep shining, keep smiling, keep shopping. <laughs>